This is extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer making a move with a tape measure here, trying to make an official measurement. And this is a relatively clear area here, not windblown, wide open as well. A good spot to take a measurement here in Hamburg, New York. But boy, is it tough to move through chest deep snow. snow yet here is moving into Hamburg, New York, where the northern section of the band has reinvigorated 45 dBZ coming in here, four inch per hour snowfall rate, absolute whiteout conditions, cars completely buried uh, across the parking lot and in the roads, people abandoning their vehicles, snow plows, uh, having a real tough time out here as well, people walking uh, on the road, motorists that are still out here as well. But definitely a survival situation if you're going to hit the road and you don't have the proper gear. If you're wearing short sleeves or shorts out here and you head out on the road, you're probably going to find yourself in a life-threatening situation. So definitely stay indoors. It's extremely dangerous out here. You can't stress that enough. The roads are completely impassable uh, out here. The throughway obviously is closed. There's a driving van that's out there. If you do come out in your vehicle, you're probably going to get completely buried all the rest of these vehicles and you don't have to shovel yourself out just absolute mass chaos out here uh, so far in uh, uh, hamburg new york we probably have close to 55 inches of snow probably another 20 on the way i wouldn't be surprised if we'll be pushing 70 or 80 inches when it's all said and done so we're absolutely getting hammered out here west southwest wind oriented right down the main axis of lake erie we had a lot of thunder and lightning in the beginning of the snow event and now we've transitioned to more aggregates uh, more dendrites coming down but more prolific snowfall rates out here with four to five inch per hour snowfall rates hamburg getting absolutely hammered looks like this area is going to be ground zero when it's all said and done for the lake effect snow emergency We're at at least 50 inches in Hamburg. I gotta make sure and see if I'm all the way down to the bottom yet. But there's the five zero number and we still have a long way to go. an ambulance right there pulling into the hotel probably not a good sign emergency vehicles here they come white out conditions looks like the ambulance has just gotten stuck not good
live in Amherst, New York, as the lake effect snow plume has sagged back south. It's been up in Canada during a large section of the day today as southwesterly winds push the plume off to the north, north of downtown Buffalo as well. But now as a trough is coming, it's beginning to sag back south, and that has brought it back into downtown Buffalo with two to three inch per hour snowfall rates. Lake effect snow warning continues from 10 p.m. until 1 p.m. tomorrow, and it looks like at least eight to 10 inches of snow in those hardest hit areas, and maybe even more than that. And it appears to be a lot more wind in the core of this band as well. We're talking about 40 mile per hour winds and gusts out here. The flakes are a little bit smaller in size, but the snowfall rates are just as prolific. At least the band is gonna be sliding off to the south with time. It's gonna be moving slowly off to the south, eventually arriving in the Buffalo South Towns later on this evening and further south than that, as well as we go through the overnight, eventually sliding into Northwestern Pennsylvania as well uh, down onto the Chautauqua Ridge. So we are definitely not over with this event. Eight to 10 more inches, possibly a foot in isolated spots. Very heavy snow and treacherous travel has returned to downtown Buffalo and it's on its way to the Buffalo South Towns as well. Big time heavy snow, dropping visibility to near zero at, at times, especially in those areas of gusty winds.